हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर टाइप ऑफ हेजार्ड विच इज कंट्रोल हेजार्ड सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ब्रांच हेजार्ड बिकॉज इट इट इज कॉज इट इज बेसिकली कॉज बाई योर ब्रांच इंस्ट्रक्शन नो लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट इट लेट्स जस्ट टेक इट्स बेसिक आइडिया वॉट इट इज सो वॉट हैपन्स इज द सीनारी इज लाइक दैट इन मेनी इंस्ट्रक्शन पाइप लाइन माइक्रो आर्किटेक्चर्स द प्रोसेसर विल नॉट नो अबाउट द आउटकम ऑफ द ब्रांच वेन इट नीड्स टू इंसर्ट Uh, insert a new instruction into the pipeline generally the fetch stage so during the fetch stage basically it is not able to uh, you know not able to know the outcome of the branch instruction maybe because the branch instruction the condition in the branch instruction is getting processed at that time so you know the uh, conditions result is basically it is basically uh, it takes time to process the instruction so it gets the result later on and by that time it has already inserted some of the instructions in its pipeline and started its processing so uh, that time gap is basically the cause of inconsistency or we can say the resource waste stage in this case so we'll discuss this with the help of an example and you will get more clarity into it so let's say this is the example you have six uh, instructions over here and in the second instruction it is if condition so then how do we start processing this this is very simple we have four phases we uh, construct its instruction table right so we have four phases over here we have if id ex wb instruction fetch uh, instruction decode and operand fetch are combined into this phase so in the first phase <clears throat> we start fetching the uh, we start in, uh, fetching the instructions one by one so we add the instructions over here s1 s2 s3 s4 s6 um s s s4 uh, so we do this one by one so let's say in the first step in the first clock pulse so in the cl first clock pulse we um write down this s1 in instruction fetch we try to fetch this first instruction then in the second clock pulse what we need to do we need to fetch s2 and starts the I start the id phase of s1 this s1 can be anything we are not uh, going into the details of this then similarly in the third uh, clock pulse we fetch s3 and we start the id phase of s2 and execution phase of s1 so id phase of s2 is if condition so we write down it over here in the next phase we fetch s4 so we fetch s4 over here we start the id phase of s3 we start the execution phase of this s2 which was if condition so we try to evaluate this condition true or false and let's say the result was false and also we write back the results of s1 now we have over here we have specified in the question we have been given in the question that if the condition is false then jump to s6 that means we now directly have to move to s6 we have to move to the instruction fetch case of s6 so we start with the execution of s6 now the problem over here is this marked in red there was no use of executing these instructions right so this is essentially a wastage of resources and this could be avoided this could actually be avoided if i was somehow able to know about the about the result of this if condition earlier or i can say that there is no use of processing these instructions till i am able to get this get this result right so this is basically your control hazard the problem in control hazard so what we see over here is that if somehow i was able to get the result of this if condition earlier then this would have not resulted in the wastage of three clock cycles over here so i'm getting the result de uh, delayed by three clock cycles otherwise this s6 processing would have started over here so the drawback of this hazard or problem is that it reduces the speed up of the pipeline and it also causes the 
wastage of resources in processing the instructions which were never required right so that's all for this control hazard so uh, in the upcoming videos i am going to discuss some more concepts about hazards i am going to take up some more recoverability videos and normalization videos so uh, stay tuned for more good work coming up and in case you have any doubts or any videos that you want me to discuss or you want me to uh, you know um, make some more videos on those concepts you are please free to post them as comments in the comment section below and thank you for your support thank you guys thank you